Hello and welcome to another Edexcel IGCSE ICT past paper question. This time we're looking at question two, practical paper, and we're looking at the word processing question from the sample assessment materials. We are going to be making this poster for Into the Sunset Cruises. It's got a title, it's got a logo, it's got some text, and it's got a table on there and a couple of images. So this is a scenario and it's on page 39 of the document and you need to read this carefully in your exam. So you need to note things like the website address there, the house style, uppercase letters for the company name, top margin set to four, logo in top right hand corner. So here on page 46 of the document, which is linked to below, by the way, is the actual task itself. Into the Sunset Cruises wants a printed poster to promote its boating holidays. Open a new document using appropriate software application. For this, we're going to use Word. Okay, so I've opened a new Word document. So save the document as task A3. So that's the first thing you will do. Save it task a3 like that okay so the poster must so text for the poster is stored in poster this is the text that you're going to need it's in the files along with the images which are linked to down below the poster must Fit one side of A4, be clear and easy to read, be fit for purpose. The poster must include all of these things here. So we're going to get started on that now. And the first thing I'm going to do is insert the logo in the top right hand corner. So this is one that I made earlier. And I'm just going to shrink it down to size a bit like that. And it needs to be in the top right hand corner as per the house style so i'll place it there by using the align tool now i need to get the title on there now so let's look at what the title needs to be relax enjoy and cruise so i'm going to use word art for this and i'm going to type that in there there relax enjoy and cruise and i'm going to make that bold so it looks like a title and then i'm going to move the cursor down and go over there now i'm going to cover another thing in the house style because i need to cover and i'll show you this document here so relax enjoy and cruise formatted as a title one mark logo inserted top right one mark so let's look down here formatting spelling capitalization i'm going to cover that now i'm going to put in a tagline here so i'm going to write an exclusive offer from and then get it into capitals house style into the sunset cruises brackets itsc like that an exclusive offer from into the sunset cruises now i need to get some content on my poster so i'm going to copy this all of this text and i'm going to put it into my poster here i'm just simply going to paste that in like that now i need to carefully format that and the first thing i'm going to do is maybe just just make that a bit bigger there so book a week in may and receive now i need to add bullet points appropriate use of bullets so i need to do that now so i'm going to put these into bullet point form and i'm guessing these are the ones that need to be in bullets because it looks like a list to me a list of off things you get with the offer so 
I need to format this text. I need to read it carefully and check if there's any spelling, punctuation, or grammar errors. There. And that looks okay. Visit us at website address. Now, according to the mark scheme, website address is www.itsc.com. It's slightly different in the where it talks about the details of this but i'm just going to use this web address there itsc.com now if i press return you'll see that that goes blue and turns it into a hyperlink i don't want that as a hyperlink so i can get rid of that okay right click on it remove hyperlink and that gets rid of that there but i might just make that bold there Website address for ITC, text from the file poster, two relevant images, and a table. Let's deal with the table before we deal with the images. So this information here has got to go into a table. So if I look at it, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns. That information has got to go into seven columns. So I'm going to go to insert, and table and I'm going to make a seven by four table because I've got three three fit three records there they need to go into this table so I need to put appropriate headings in there so if you look at Genesis now that is the name clearly the name of the boat premier plus is the style 12 births so that's number of births cabins number of cabins there heads number of heads length in brackets m meters and skipper that's a yes no so i'm going to put those details into this so genesis if you're typing that in make sure you type it in correctly premiere plus like that births 12 cabins four four heads length 18 and skipper it will have a skipper next one romeo so this is format laid out slightly differently so you can see there it says classic style so i had to go and look for that it's not quite in the same same layout as the information before number of births four cabins it's got two cabins one head length says 10 meters and skipper available is no finally salamander style premier plus so i'm just simply going to copy that put that in there reuse that so salamander has 10 berths five cabins five heads its length is 20 meters and the skipper is available now I just like to tidy things up I like all my rows to be the same sort of height a little bit of OCD there I like that to be the same I'm going to make the headings bold and now I can get rid of that there because it's just cluttering up my poster I need to be aware of something called white space. So the appropriate use of white space would be what, what is around the text and the images. And as it's a poster, I need that, I need that to be appropriate. I need that to look good. One thing I can do here is just zoom right out just to get an overview of it. What's it looking like so far? It's looking pretty good. Okay. So now I need to get my images on that. I want a couple of images down in the bottom. Okay, so I'm gonna insert some images from the image folder using insert pictures. So here's my choice of images. And what I'd recommend here when using Word is perhaps choose two images. Well, obviously that best represent the holiday is all about cruises, but also are formatted the same way i mean either the shape of them are they portrait or landscape i'm going to choose two landscape images there i'm going to insert that one there and it's gone onto two pages so i'm just going to shrink that down a bit like that 
then I'm going to insert another one and maybe have that one there because that's got boats on there it looks like it could be cruise boats okay now I might make them centered like that and just check that they are sort of lined up properly they're roughly the same size and then again just take a zoom out am I happy with that I think that looks okay it's a little bit perhaps I could just move that up a bit there just to tidy it up a bit and perhaps I think after this table I might just move those images down there like that and I think that's a good attempt at that poster so let's go through the mark scheme just to make sure I've done that so I've got the title there the logo appropriate use of bullets web address for ITSC text from the file poster two relevant images from the images folder and a table box that includes column headings back to the mark scheme so I've done that logo web address bullets relevant images images and logo size not distorted in proportion that's why I'd use the same the same shape images so you don't have to drag them out what you don't want to be doing is dragging them and making them look distorted text from the poster file seven columns in my table correctly formatted fit for purpose capitalization table is appropriate 11 marks in total so that is my finished poster you need to resave it and then go to file and print and make sure that your name is details are down in the footer so thank you very much for watching that is the word processing question for the paper two